Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back once again to the Kansas Jayhawks Dynasty at Thrashingly Face Against Texas Longhorns. I knew I needed to bring you another Jayhawk episode. Today we are facing off against the BYU Cougars. And here you see our stats, offensive ranks right from the start. We're the number one pass offense, but one of the worst rushing offenses. But a better rushing touchdown offense than we are a passing touchdown offense. An odd offense, but we find ourselves 1-2 and two home once again here today at Memorial Stadium to face off against BYU. BYU looking for a big victory to bring us back to 500 at 2-2 two and two, heading into the tough part of our schedule stay, getting heavy into the Big 12 but here's our last non-conference game the first run for Darren Thompson to go nowhere now second and 10 codes art play action again dump this one right side Ryan Shadler right there loses one a backup running back third and 11 can we get a first down we do Gonzalez right side breaks off a tackle breaks off another tackle Gonzalez with a big pickup of 27 yards and the first down codes art now on third and 12 was looking for Sternberger there just way overthrown you saw that a lot against Texas last week we need him to be better today here we are on first and 10 Ian Peterson gets hit in the back and that is incomplete you see Mangum here he's gonna throw over the middle of Trinaman Trinaman's gonna have a 10 yard reception there and BYU is having a good start here on offense converting right there here's Mangum once again he's gonna have first and 10 carry he's a big quarterback and looks like he could break a couple of tackles looks like a pocket passer but does get out of the pocket quite a bit a bit as he finds Shumway there. I believe that's how you say his name. There's some difficult names on this team, I tell you what. But here is Canada on the right side. I'm not even sure if that's how you say his name. But Squally Canada right there. Five-yard reception. And we're there got to sell for a field goal on fourth and six. But that's going to be short. Steven Sims Jr. is going to take this one out of the end zone. He's been a great return all year except for his fumble against Texas. Right side. He's going to get around the right side. But he's not really getting anywhere. He probably should not have returned that. That's probably my fault. But one to make something happen. Second and nine though. However, on offense, Bobby Hartsock Jr. 14-yard reception. And the first down. First and 10, Cozart right side. He finds Darren Thompson, who's going to pick up five yards after that reception. It's going to be second and five. Cozart keeps it now. He's going to take it. He's going to pitch this one to Darren Thompson. Darren Thompson, stiff arm, spins out of a tackle. He's going to pick up three. Third and two. Cozart keeps, pitches it. Darren Thompson picks up the first down. Great read by Cozart. And we keep the drive alive. Five yard rush. Second and eight. Cozart's dropping back. He throws over the middle. A much better throw to Sternberger this time. He picks up the first down. Gain of 12. Just give the man an opportunity. First and Tad Darren Thompson. He breaks off one tackle and he's going to pick up a nice gain at eight. The run game is working here so far early. Second and two, Darren Thompson. He's going to fight his way and he's going to pick up the first down but the Running back is down and injured. He'll be out for the game with a mild concussion. So it is first and 10 for Ryan Shadler, the backup running back. You get a chance to see our backup here. Four-yard rush. Looked a little slow there, but I'm telling you, he picks it up. Second and six. Kozart off his back foot. Dumps it to Ben Johnson, who picks up the first down. Eight-yard reception. I like that. It's going to be a second and goal. Kozart dropping back. He avoids the sack right there. He throws over the middle. Shadler drops it incomplete. Could have been a touchdown. Third and goal. Kozart dropping back over the middle. Steven Sims Jr., he's taken down at the one and nine yard reception, fourth and goal. We're going for it. Ben Johnson, fullback dive, touchdown Kansas Jayhawks. We take the early lead. I thought Steven Sims Jr. might have been in, but I am aggressive there when we are close. Fourth and short, you'll see it multiple times. I usually like to go for it, and I did there. 7-0 Jayhawks, but here is the offense. BYU back on the field, second and nine, dropping back. Throws it off his own lineman's ear hole, it looked like. He's going to set up a third and nine, dropping back. Mangum's going to throw over the middle. That's incomplete. Alex Manning with the deflection. The true freshman has been big here so far this year. We need him to continue that play. First and 10 for Go Kozar as we get the ball back. Steven Sims Jr. We have back-to-back -back stops on defense. You'll see that quite a bit. You don't see that quite a bit from this defense. But nonetheless, it gives our offense a chance to get things rolling once again. There's a first down run and another first down for Kozar. First and 10, here's Ryan Shadler right up the middle. A nice run up the middle. Gain is seven. I'll take that every single time. Second and three, Kozar play action. He's going to scramble right. He's going to be hit and sacked. It's frustrating how the play action does never. It just doesn't work on this game. Third and 10, we pick up the first down. Nonetheless, no need for play action. 12-yard reception by Charlotte. First and 10. Kozart dropping back. He's looking. He's throwing right. He finds Gonzalez, who's really coming, coming on as of late. We need to keep that up, especially in today's game. Second and 7. Shadler has an 8-yard run to first down. First and goal. Give it to Shadler up the middle. Shadler with some nice blocks and a touchdown. Ryan Shadler, 8-yard touchdown run. And we take the 14-0 lead. I guess this is why we are the number one passing offense, one of the worst rushers. 
rushing offenses, but we run it in most of the time as we have twice so far. Can the defense keep up their good play? There's a nine-yard run on first down. Now second and one, going to find Shumway on the right side, four-yard reception. Second and seven, scrambling. That's going to be another nice pickup that's in the Kansas territory, a nice pickup to the 45-yard line. First and 10, handoff, getting on the right side. He's going to stiff arm. He's got a lot of room on the right side. And a blocker. He's inside the 20s, taken down about the 17-yard line. 28-yard rush and a big one at that. Mangum's going to drop back now. He's going to scramble. A lot of room on the right side. He's going to make one man miss. miss. He's going to be tackled into the end zone. Touchdown, Tanner Mangum. That's going to cut the lead in half. 14-7. to And that looked more like the Kansas Jayhawks defense that we know. Second time for Kozar, he's going to try to make something happen. Just keep the points coming, and I'll be okay. There's an eight-yard run. He's going to set up a third and two. Going to fake it, keep it with Kozar. Kozar's going to be hit, and he's tackled short, fourth and inches. But like I said, I'm aggressive. Kozar QB sneak first down. I like it. I like it a lot. Third and ten, Kozar trying to convert here. He's throwing left. He finds Charlotte for another first down, pick up a 13 yards. And it's going to set up a first and 10. Kozart dropping back over the middle. There's Gonzalez once again. Gonzalez breaks off a tackle. He falls forward for a 20-yard reception. Another big first down for Gonzalez. Second and 12. Throw on left side. Almost jumped and picked off, but it's incomplete. Third and 12. 30 seconds left in the half. Kozart scrambling right. Throw on right side. He finds Sternberger. Tackled short. Fourth and one. You know what's coming. You see McPherson making the decision. Fourth and one. Going to Ben Johnson. Met and hit backwards. We don't get it. We leave points out on the field. And instead of a 17-7, maybe 21-7 lead, we go into the half 14-7. And BYU has some momentum with the offense coming back on field to start the second half. It's going to be Canada with a run out the middle. He breaks off a tackle. He's going to pick up two yards. And it's going to set up a second and eight. Mangum's dropping back on second and eight. He's going to throw right. He's going to find his tight end. Not even going to try to say that name. Baldery, something like that. First and ten nonetheless. Canada's going to get it left side. He's going to stiff arm his way right through the safety. He's got a lot of room inside the 10-5 touchdown. BYU 60-yard touchdown run. Boy, did he run through the safety right there. I believe that was Miller Jr. getting ran over. And that's going to tie the game up at 14 as here comes the BYU offense. But now the Kansas offense needs to respond after that tight at 14. Seven-yard rush for Montel Kozart, second and three. Second and three, giving it to Shadler. Shadler had a pretty good day today as he's come in for Darren Thompson, who has the concussion. He gets another first down. First and ten, Kozart throwing left. It's Shadler again out of the backfield this time with a reception. Spin move, picks up five. Second and five, now Kozart dropping back. He's going to look. He throws left. He finds Sternberger. Sternberger picks up four. He's going to set up a third and inches. Third and inches, Shadler picks up the first down, gain of two. Keep the drive moving. First and ten, now Kozart's dropping back. He's looking. He's going to scramble left with it. He's going to get around the D end. He's going to pick up a nice gain. 10 yards. First down once again. First and 10. Kozart fakes it. He's going to keep it. He's going to pitch this one to Martin. Martin has some room on the right side. He's blown up. He's hit. He fumbles. Hadley picks it up. And there's a turnover for the third string running back who's getting some action now with Darren Thompson out. He's there on the option. He gets blown up. He fumbles the football. It's picked up by BYU. And they take over on offense with a hot offense now going. Not going to pronounce that name either, but nonetheless, he picks up 12 yards in the first down on the screen play. Second and nine. Mangas dropping back. He throws over the middle. It's dropped by the same man. Third and nine. Can we get off the field? Mangas dropping back. He's looking. He's throwing deep left side. He finds Trinaman. Trinaman makes one man miss. Into the end zone, Jonah Trinaman beats Ian Peterson. Miller misses another tackle, and that's a big touchdown, and BYU takes a lead. 21-14, Peterson beat at the line of scrimmage, can't quite get his head around in time to find the ball, and we are down by seven. Kozart needs a big drive. He's going to throw on the run here on first and ten. He's going to find Bobby Hartsog Jr., 19-yard completion. First and ten, Shadler up the middle. He's going to have another nice first down run, pick up a nine, setting up a second and short. Second and one. Going to fake it, keep it with Kozart. Kozart pitches to Shadler. Shadler picks up the first down, gain a three. First and ten. We needed that one. First and ten, Kozart's dropping back. He's going to look. He finds Johnson. Johnson with a nice reception, gain a seven. Seven-yard catch, setting up a third and three. Montel Kozart 
dropping back. He's going to look right. He's going to find Sterberg right a wide open Shadler out of the backfield. Didn't find it. Fourth and three. We're going for it. Scrambling left with Kozart. He's going to cut up field. He's going to pick up the first down. Juke move. He's picking up more. He's inside the 10, inside the 5. Taken down at the, about the 2 1 yard line. 34 yard pickup for Montel Kozart. First and goal. Shadler. Third rushing touchdown of the day for this offense. Shadler gets his second, and we tie this one right back up at 21. Here comes the defense now needing to make a play. Trinaman, he gets tackled after a gain of two, third and eight. Can we force a three and out? Mangum dropping back. Halfback screen. Canada makes one man miss. Alex Manning weighs the hammer on Canada on the screen. If he gets past Manning, that's a big play, but none. And instead, it's a three and out, and we get the ball back. Second and five, Kozart dropping back. Shadler over the middle. That's a first down reception, eight yard catch. A first and 10 now head towards the end of the third quarter. Kozart dropping back over the middle. He finds Sternberger. Sternberger with a nice reception, gain of 13, and another first down. Third and six, Kozart dropping back. Throwing left. He finds Shadler. Shadler fighting. First down, no. Six yards, fourth and inches. We're going for it. Kozart dropping back. Scrambling right. He picks it up. He just runs with it. He knew what he wanted to get there, and he got it. First and 10. Now we're going to run it once again. Kozart keeps it. He's going to go. He's going to find the end zone for the fourth rushing touchdown of the day for this offense. This time it's Montel Kozart. One with Johnson. Two with Shadler. Montel Kozart takes the lead here with about six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. 28-21. Defense we need another play. Here's Canada, though. He's not having any of it. He's not getting blown up this time by Alex Manning. He picks up 12. Manning's going to keep it here. He's got a lot of room on the left side. He's taken down finally by Manning after a 16-yard rush. Third and seven. Can we get off the field? Mangum. He's going to look right side. A beautiful pass. He finds Shumway, who picks up the first down inside the 30-yard line. There's a flag on the play, though, at the end of the play. What is this going to be? It's going to be a personal file clipping. That could bring him back, and it will. It's going to set up a third and and five there was no need for that but instead the play was called the flag was thrown third and five can we get off the field this time thrown left Canada tries to make up for it but can't he loses four it's gonna be a fourth down and that clipping was costly offense back on the field Gonzalez making more plays he's gonna pick up nine yards no 12 yards right there Send up a third and one Kozart gives it to Shadler he keeps the drive alive with a first down run gain of seven First and 10, Kozart dropping back. He's going to throw right side. He finds Steven Sims Jr. for a big play in the BYU territory. Gain of 27. Second and 7, we're giving Martin another chance after he fumbled earlier. This time he comes through with a big run of 12 and a first down. Keeping the sticks moving. Third and 8, this time a 2-0-3. QB draw with Kozart. Kozart can't quite make a man miss. He's tackled. Gain of 4, but nonetheless, we make it a two-possession game with a field goal. They have no timeout to stop with seal it. Mangum throwing over the middle. He's going to find his tight end. It's a pick up a 4, and they have to spike it. Third and six, Mangum's dropping back. He's going to look. He's going to throw to Canada, who just comes out of the backfield, picks up two. It's fourth and four. A stop wins it. Man in motion. Mangum in the pistol. Mangum's dropping back. He's looking. He's got time. He's going to look downfield. He finds his man. No, it's dropped. Trinaman drops. He's been huge all day long for the BYU offense, but he drops that one, and we'll take it. Kansas Jayhawks. Get the victory, 31-21 here. A great showing on defense. We had a rough couple of drives with Canada going big on us with a big play. Trinaman with a big play, but only 21 points allowed against this offense. And the Kansas Jayhawks offense had a quite the day on the ground. Four rushing touchdowns, and we take the game 31-21. A nice victory, and we go, and we advance to 2-2, two and two, heading in to most of the Big 12 play. We already 0-1 in Big 12 play, but we got to continue it with a big game after our bye week next week. We come back in Week 7 facing Texas Tech after a 31-21 victory. Some great momentum moving into the bye week and Big 12 play. And what a game we had. Four rushing touchdowns. I'll take that all the time. Darren Thompson was even out. I'll take that even more. Shadler, 77 yards. Cozart, 98 yards. A great day on the ground. And we'll come back and hopefully take it to Texas Tech. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. As always, I'm out. Peace.